Hey, I'm Ryan with Warner Discovers, and today we're going to check out my new camera that I just picked up, the Sony a7C II. I'm really excited to check this out. I'm going to do just a simple unboxing, see what comes in the box. Can't wait to start filming with this. So we just got the protection plan. Basically, if you register, you get extra warranty, which is nice. Just some help guides on how to put the battery in, how to put the SD card in, just kind of like a quick start guide reference guide, lenses and accessories with QR codes to link to more stuff. A user manual specifically for the kit lens. So the one that I did pick up is the A7C II, the black version, and I also got the kit lens with it, which is a 28 to 60 f4 to 5.6. So this comes with the user manual for that, and then a different language for all your user manual needs. Limited warranty. And the lens itself this is a really small width lens, which is what I was shooting for to have a smaller size DSLR with the T5i that I had. This is definitely way more compact. So we have the kit lens here again, 28 to 60 millimeters. And the nice part is when you expand it out to the 28, you can see that it actually gets wider. And then when you go back to the 60, it's approximately like the same length, um, but then it will go back down and be nice and compact. Then we have the battery. We have the camera itself. And we also have the neck strap. And that's pretty much what comes in the box. Let's put the lens on. So you can see the kit lens, how small it is, much easier to throw in a bag compared to the like the kit or the wide angle lens that I had with the T5i. So can't wait to check this out and set this up and let's see what it looks like on the mount. So here's the camera on the tripod. Looking forward to seeing what the camera's capable of. It's definitely a huge upgrade from my Rebel camera. There's so many more features. I would highly recommend checking out the feature list online. I'll have everything linked in the description below. One thing to note though, the camera does not come with a charger so the battery that comes with it goes into the camera and then you actually charge the camera with USB-C which will actually be convenient anyway because now I can charge with one cable for most of my devices so anyway I hope this helps thanks for watching and I will catch you next time